What's going on YouTube? In this video we're going to cover Firefox, uh, proxy settings, and installation of certificates uh, in case we're using like a local proxy which doesn't have any uh, certificates configured. Uh, I'm going to be showing this in relation to browser mob proxy, uh, which if you don't have it you can watch my other video which I'll link to on the screen. Uh, on how to install that and how to set it up. So, browser mob proxy actually comes with uh, two certificates that you can use uh, in order to make sure you don't get any warnings from the browser that your connection is not secured. So, let's go ahead and start with this. So, I'm gonna start my proxy server. Now, if you're watching this video just to understand how to configure proxy settings on Firefox, just keep watching and substitute um, your own uh, proxy credentials and uh, proxy host um, where I show you. So, I'm going to take a look at the list of the of the current proxies that I have. There's nothing running, so I need, actually need to start uh, my proxy. So I'm going to put do a post to actually kick off the proxy server. So now I have one running on port 8081. Now at this point, I can go to my Firefox and try to go to Google. So right now, I can't reach Google because I think I'm using older proxy settings. So I'm gonna go to options, right? I went to options and then in the options, I'm gonna search for proxy. Now here we have our network settings. If I go inside, this is where you can put your proxy uh, host. Mine is running on local host or uh, 127.0.0.1 or 00, 0 .0 .0 .0 .0. Um, all the people into local host. So I'm going to switch this to 8081 and pretty much just accept that because this is where my local proxy is running on so that should work so I'm gonna save that go back to the tab and try to go back to Google now this is where Google tells me that my connection is not secured because I don't have a good certificate um, with that proxy so what I need to do is I can either go to advanced Actually, I think there should be a way to, to do it through advanced. Just accept this. Oh, yeah. Add exception. So you, you can either add exception and it will take you to Google. Or another way you can do is just install the certificate. So I'm going to go back to options and I'm going to search for certificates. Now, here we have this view certificates button. So if I click it, I can take a look at all the certificates that I have installed but it also lets me import certificates. So I'm gonna click that import button. And down here in my browser mod proxy install, right? I have this SSL support and inside the SSL support, I have two certificates. So I'm just gonna use the RSA one. So I'll click on RSA, say open and I'll check all these boxes to trust this certificate. Click yes. And then if you scroll all the way, for me, it's gonna be pretty much all the way down, I think. Somewhere in here, there should be little proxy a certificate. This is the one that we just installed. So if you wanna remove it, you can remove it as well. If you go here and I click okay, it will get removed. Right now, we're not gonna remove it because I wanna show you how this actually works. Um, I will say that you don't wanna run, the, like whenever you're done working with your proxy, and whenever you're done utilizing the certificate, just remove it. You don't wanna have the certificate permanently in your browser. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna go back to the previous tab and I'm gonna try to go to Google again. So now I don't have an exception from Chrome that there's something wrong with my certificate so it works fine and pretty much 
any HTTPS site from this point on, I can access, no issues. Now, again, when you're done, find that little, little proxy uh, certificate. Let's see, should be somewhere here. There we go. Just remove it. Click OK. Now, if you go here, it's not, I don't think it's going to propagate. So um, you could maybe go to GitHub, so like a different uh, website, then it will tell you that you have. Um, you have an issue again since we removed it but I think since google.com is actually cached um, it didn't ch it doesn't check the certificate again but now if we actually exit the browser and go back in and I try to go to google.com again I will s still get the same uh, same page which is ex expected now since I don't have the certificate um, so as far as this video goes, I think that's about it. I'm not going to go over the browser mob proxy um, details since I covered that in the Chrome video itself. So if you guys want to know how to configure um, browser mob proxy to like give you hard files and stuff, check out the Chrome video and I'll link to that video somewhere on the screen. Um, but if this video helped you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, take care.